A Car Ben Read Aloud. Visit our growing Jewish library for children at www.carben.com. The Key from Spain. Flory Jagoda and Her Music by Debbie Levy Illustrated by Sonia Wimmer Car Ben Publishing Long ago, in a place called Al-Andalus, in the land of Spain, there was a time of dazzling music and science, art and poetry, Map-making and mathematics and harmony among neighbors, Muslims, Jews, and Christians. Many years passed. New rulers conquered the land. The new king and queen said to the Jews, You are not welcome here. Leave. Jewish families left Spain. The Altarus family was one of them. The Altaruses journeyed first to Turkey, later to Bosnia, always carrying two precious possessions with them. One was very little, a key. The other was very big, yet took up no space at all. Ladino. Ladino. The language of the Shifardim, the Jews from Spain. Ladino, a language made from many languages, from Spanish and Hebrew and Arabic. Ladino, the language the Shifardim spoke at home. The key from Spain, La Llave de España. Tia, Ant. Nona, grandmother. Nonu, grandfather. In the tiny mountain village of La Sinitza, the Altaruses again lived in harmony among their neighbors. They became a large family with Nona and Nonu and Tias and uncles and cousins, more than 40 members strong, including a girl named Flory. She grew up with Jewish, Muslim, and Christian friends, with neighbors of different faiths living and working side by side like her ancestors before her. Flory and her family spoke Ladino at home, Bosnian in the village. They sang and sang and sang and sang in both languages. No village celebration was complete without the singing Altaru's family making music into the wee hours, Shephardic and Bosnian melodies, voices trilling, hands clapping, guitars, mandolins, tamboritzas and tambourines pulsing the rhythms. Songs filled the sky. Music filled Flory's heart. Nona filled Flory's heart, too, not only with her songs and guitar playing and kitchen drawer overflowing with pages of music, but also with traditions, kissing the mezuzah, lighting candles in times of trouble and times of prayer, sewing linens for brides-to-be. And every Friday before Shabbat, Nona gave Flory and her cousins baskets filled with food to take to neighbors in need. Tzedakah! Don't wait for them to say thank you, Nona said. We are fortunate that we can give to them. Tzedakah! Charity. In Nona's house... The little key, La Llave de España, watched over the family. Nona told Flory its story. Many centuries ago, our ancestors had no choice but to leave the country they loved. They could not take much with them, but they did take the key to their home. 
That key on the wall opens the door to a beautiful house in Spain. One day, an Alterus will return to Spain. Find the house. Open the door and be home once again. Flory loved the story, but she didn't want to be the Alterus who returned to Spain because she never wanted to leave La Sanitza. But her parents wanted to leave. They liked the big city. Goodbye, village. Zagreb in Croatia had a brand new, beautiful school, music lessons, art, ballet, gymnastics, theater. But it did not have Nona, Nonu, Tias, uncles, cousins, friends, Shabbat baskets. It did not have the songs. Flory missed Vlasenitsa. Her father saw her sorrow and bought her a harmoniku. Flory played the songs of her Nona, and they helped her feel closer to home. Harmoniku, accordion. A terrible war came, the Second World War. Life became dangerous, especially for Jews. Flory's parents wanted her to be safe, and to be safe, she needed to leave Zagreb. They got her a train ticket to another city called Split. They would follow, they promised, on another train another day. It was too risky for three Jews to travel together. Florica her father said. From the minute you sit in that train compartment, don't speak. He feared Flory might say something in Ladino, revealing that she was Jewish. Just play your harmoniku. Flory took off the badge that all Jews had to wear and walked to the station, pretending to be an ordinary girl, a non-Jewish girl, going on a trip. She played and played every song she knew, Bosnian, Croatian, but not a word in Ladino. The compartment filled with people, all joining together to sing, all believing Flory was one of them. Such a jolly journey for everyone else. Flory hugged her harmoniku close and it saved her. Flory reached the seaside city of Split, and her parents soon joined her. They lived as refugees without a home, not knowing what would happen to them, not knowing what happened to those left behind in Blasenitsa. And when the fighting finally ended, Flory and her parents learned that the war had taken nearly everyone they loved. Like her ancestors who fled Spain, Flory sailed away. Unlike her ancestors, Flory carried no little key. Not from Spain, not from Vlasenitsa. Those keys were lost in the war. But Flory carried three other precious possessions. One, her harmoniku. Two, Ladino. And three, bigger than everything, yet taking up no space at all. Music. She was Flory Jagoda now, an American with an American husband and family. Her American family could never meet her Nona, or hear the singing Alteru's family. But Flory could share their music. She did have a key after all. And with this key of music, she unlocked the door to that past life and those beloved people across the ocean and across the years. 
Flory brought her music to people everywhere, around the country and the world, on stages, in schools, in homes, playing guitar as her Nona played guitar. She could take audiences through the streets of her village, show them the roses in the windows, seat them at her Tia's Passover tables, and even imagine a house in Spain, waiting, forever waiting, for an Alteruz to return. <laughs>